But within the body of Christ, Jesus has called people from every tribe, every nation, every tongue, and He has formed the community so diverse that it is, how do you understand? It's impossible to understand it. How people who are so different to one another, in fact, enemies at every single level, yet they can be united together in Jesus and through Jesus. He has become our common thread, our common source. There is something that you can have that is more and deeper than community, and the grace of God is all over it. It's saturated in it, and it flows through it. It is this idea, this word, koinonia. Koinonia. The scriptures that I read to you in Acts chapter 2, verse 42, and 1 John 1, verse 3, was about fellowship. That word fellowship in the Greek is koinonia. It's a, it's, got a, it's a word with a variety of meanings, slightly different meanings. But I want to share, I want to let you know what it is. It depicts an interactive relationship between God and believers who are sharing new life in Christ. It is a sharing in supernatural life. It is the participation in Christian community, sharing in spiritual blessings and giving material blessings. Koinonia is so powerful. It is this the sense that there is something that we are sharing together, but that we are deeply dependent on independently as well. A life that comes from Jesus. It is something spiritual that is happening whenever the believers of Jesus are together sharing in relationship. It's not just having a relationship with somebody at work. There's something deeply spiritual and significant that happens where we share life with one another at a deeper level. It's not just about what happened in the game yesterday. It's about what's happening in my life today. What are my worries? What are my battles? What are my wins? Where am I going? What is God saying to me? It is something that is deeply needed on the inside of our lives. 